going? Uh, today, I just wanted to talk about how much money I made in YouTube, in YouTube, on, how much money I made on YouTube in 2020. And obviously you can just tell by looking, you know, underneath the video player here. Uh, I don't have a ton of subscribers in terms of like a big, quote unquote, big channel. So really what this video is about is how much money do small YouTube channels make? So currently I am sitting at 4.6 thousand subscribers. So I'm under, under 5K and the question is, can you make money with that little of subscriber count? And if so, how much? Um, the answer is definitely yes. You absolutely can make money uh, with four and a half thousand subscribers on YouTube. And I'm gonna kind of break that down on how much money I made last year and just kind of talk to you about, uh, I don't know, maybe even like strategies moving forward, but also just kind of how this whole thing works. And I'm gonna be literally just 100% totally open and transparent with you. And uh, hopefully you like the video today. So let's start off with how do you even begin to make money on YouTube? Where do you start? How does it, how does it all happen? Um, basically what YouTube requires is that if you're gonna apply for monetization on your channel, you need to have a minimum of 1000 subscribers and a minimum of 4,000 minutes in watch time. And I believe all that has to be done within the last 12 months. So, you know, you couldn't have had all of these numbers happen several years ago and now apply for monetization. It has to be relatively recent, I believe. And so that's kind of the first step, I suppose, is kind of is growing your channel in a way uh, that you're able to do that. Uh, once you meet those requirements, then you actually have to go and apply uh, on a Google AdSense account. Uh, it's, it's super easy, you just have to create an account and then uh, basically apply uh, to YouTube and then they approve you. And then once that happens, you're able to start running ads on your YouTube channel. So for me this year and kind of currently where I'm at right now, uh, I make money on YouTube through two sources. One is directly from YouTube AdSense or Google AdSense. Um, so meaning I put advertisements on my videos and as those videos collect views, I get paid out for it basically. The second way is through Amazon affiliate links. And the way that these affiliate links work is that I, you know, have several of them in the description of my videos. If you go to the description of my video, you click on any one of those links, then that takes you to an Amazon page where you know, likely you're gonna look at a piece of gear that I've linked down below. Uh, so obviously, if you buy something that I have linked down in the description, I get a kickback from that purchase. But the kind of cool thing of how Amazon works is that not only if you purchase the exact item that I have linked, do I get paid for it, but if you make any purchase on Amazon over the next 24 hours after you've clicked on one of my links, then I get a certain percentage of that purchase. Now, I don't know how deep that goes because like, for example, let's just say that you clicked on like 20 different YouTube creators affiliate links and you bought something, you know, within 24 hours of those clicks. Do we all get paid? I'm, I'm assuming we all get paid out for a certain percentage, like who gets the most? Like, I, I don't really know how that works. Uh, I just know that every, every so often I get a check from Amazon and it's cool. So, <laughs> um, but let's, let's talk about the actual numbers and how much I make from each source. I actually have to look this up because I don't know it off the top of my head. I also forgot to mention that applying for an Amazon affiliate to be, or applying to become an Amazon affiliate is really easy. Like I did that, I think even before I qualified for the YouTube AdSense. And so you just have to go to Amazon Associates or Amazon Affiliates or whatever it is uh, and literally just sign up and it's that easy. So in 2020, I got paid out from Amazon Okay, I got paid from um, one, two, three times. Okay, yep, I got three. Okay, so on th I got three on three. Wow, I can't talk. 
on three separate occasions in 2020, Amazon sent me a check. Well, actually they started by sending checks. Now they just, I think, uh, automatically deposit into my bank account. But my first check that I got paid out for was for $166.06. The next check I got was $113.25. And then the la the third check was for $145.34. So that total is, if my math is correct, is $424.65 that I made last year through my Amazon affiliates. Now. The funny thing is, and this is something I probably should have mentioned earlier, is 2020 was kind of a weird year for me when it comes to my YouTube content and just my, my activity on the platform. Um, I definitely went in some waves of posting often and then like disappearing for several months on end. So uh, my just to give you a little reference on when I got paid in 2020. So I got paid once in January, then I got paid in uh, June, and then I got paid in August. So I got paid June 29th for $113. And then I got paid August in August. Then I got paid on August 1st for $145. So pretty, so you, what I'm, so my reasoning in sharing that is because uh, that was clearly a time when I was either currently making more content or I just had more content available on the channel uh, for people to see and people to click and all that stuff. It also just kind of maybe states where we kind of were at in the world at that time. Uh, a lot of people staying at home and maybe doing some online shopping or whatever, but uh, basically my first check, between the time between my first check and my second check was six months. And then the time between my second check and third check was literally one month. So that's, that's kind of cool. And then I hadn't got paid out for the rest of the year. Uh, and again, that's because I literally made no content for several months. So now let's go to the Google AdSense because this is, uh, this is kind of the more interesting one in my opinion. And this is probably where a lot of people are confused or want some sort of inside clarity uh, or whatever. So again, I'm not the best at knowing the entire system. I'm just gonna give you my experience and kind of just tell you what I think I know. And that is that you don't necessarily get paid like per view, okay? So it's it's not as simple as get 10,000 views, receive $100 or whatever, you know, whatever you think the, the conversion rate might be. Uh, and you also don't get paid per subscriber. So it's not as if I'm just banking like, 25 cents every time one of you guys subscribe or anything like that. That's not how it works. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the way it works is you have what's called a CPM, which is a cost per million, I believe is what that stands for. And essentially uh, what that means is that uh, YouTube determines based on maybe, uh, based on a ton of things, I'm assuming your watch time, uh, your click through rate, how much how much uh, time people spend just on the platform while they're watching one of your videos. And then basically how much uh, advertisers wanna spend to place an ad on your video. All of that gets kind of clumped together and generated in some sort of algorithm to, to spit out a number of what you get paid per million. And then obviously uh, they just kind of apply that ratio to however many views your monetized videos get. I don't know if any of that made sense or not. There are much smarter people on this platform who can explain that kind of stuff. Uh, but let me just tell you what the total amount of money that I made from YouTube ads were in 2020. $484.85. So if we take that $484.85 and combine it to what I made off Amazon, my total earnings from just having a YouTube channel this year was $909.50. Uh, so just shy of a thousand. What I didn't include because I did not uh, participate in this other aspect of online earnings 
is through like digital assets. Digital assets can include uh, merchandise, uh, you know, presets, LUTs, online courses, uh, you know, editing templates and presets and stuff like that, um, which those are a huge generator of money. Um, why did I not do that this year or last year? Uh, mainly because, again, I just kind of couldn't decide if I cared about YouTube or not last year. Um, like I said earlier, I kind of went in a few different waves of like posting often and then literally taking a seventh month, seven month break. So um, I just kind of, I don't know. The other part of me too is like, I could definitely, I feel like I could sell Lightroom presets and video LUTs. Uh, I don't know though. It's just like, it's kind of a hard thing for me to like want to commit to because well, I guess to be totally honest, I'm just like nervous that people like won't like them or it's it'll be a waste of, I don't, I don't even know. I definitely use presets on all of my photos. I use LUTs on all of my videos. And so I feel like they're pretty good. They're up to my standard at least, which I think is, you know, I set my standard high. So I feel like my videos and my photos look good and I have assets that get the end result to look uh, where it does. So I do feel like if I put that stuff out, people might buy them, I don't, I don't know. But that is a huge way to make even more money on this platform uh, is by selling stuff like that, which who knows, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably end up doing it at some point. It's just kind of hard to, to decide when, uh, when is that like appropriate? Because one thing that, uh, you know, I, I really wanna make sure that I do on this channel moving forward is staying real and genuine and like truly authentic to you guys. And I don't wanna just like turn into an advertisement, I guess. I see that so much on YouTube where it's like basically that channel, you can clearly tell that its main goal is to make money. And I totally, like I respect that, but that's not necessarily where I wanna be. Um, and the same goes for like brand deals as well. I've had a few different companies and brands reach out to me and not trying to like sound cool or anything, but I've had a few, uh, two to be exact, like over this last year that reached out and wanted to do a uh, collaboration and sponsor a video and pay me for that work, which that's another way to make money is through brand deals, right? Um, but like, again, it just felt weird like, hey, I haven't made a video in five months, but here's a video. And really the whole point of it is to tell you to go to this website and buy this product, which is like, I feel like people can sniff that crap out. I know I can when I'm watching other people's videos and I wanna like, I want to like build this trust between you and myself. So before I ever like start selling out for the cash, <laughs> like I want people to know that it's coming from a genuine place. And if I'm telling you about a certain product or a certain, a uh, company that's selling something of some kind that A, I believe in it, B, I actually use it, and C, I genuinely recommend that for you. And the two opportunities that I had this year, last year to take some money from people, I didn't fully like have those feelings in my heart. So that's why I didn't do any of that. Uh, but that is another way to make money. Kind of went off on a tangent there to wait, like just venting to you guys. But um, anyways, really the four ways you can make money, affiliate links, ads, assets, and then brand deals. Um, and <laughs> there's a lot of money to be made. Like I'm telling you, uh, people are definitely living living well um, on off the internet right now, which is cool, it's very exciting, kind of gives me something to, uh, you know, look forward to possibly in the future. But anyways, if you guys have any questions about either my own personal channel uh, in terms of finances and money and stuff like that, or just any questions in general that you wanna ask me about, uh, you can of course leave me a comment down below or uh, you can hop over to my Instagram or Twitter. I'm a, I'm a newly found Twitter boy now, so uh, send me a DM over there on any one of those platforms and uh, we can chat sometime. So anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, maybe consider uh, liking it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you're more than welcome to do that as well to the channel. So uh, thank you guys. Appreciate you a ton. And I will see you in the next video.